Hello everybody, I'm Dutch, and today we're gonna to be talking about safety in regards to a hammock, and in particular, we're gonna be talking about how the hang angle affects the load that's being applied to the tree, to the suspension, to the continuous loop, to the ridge line, and well, the science of this, I don't exactly understand, but if you ask riggers, when they're lifting loads, if they lift a load straight up, it actually splits. Let's say they have two lines and, and, they, and they lift up a load. It is going to split that load in half. But as that angle comes down, and let's say it comes down to this, it is going to grow exponentially. At a 30 degree angle, it's actually going to go, and let's say you're lifting 1,000 pounds, there's going to be 1,000 pounds applied to, to each end of that suspension. Whereas if it was coming straight up and down, it would have split in half. There would only be 500 pounds on each of those suspensions. Now, we're not able to hang a hammock straight up and down, so we have to put an angle. Many people know about the 30-degree rule, but why is that 30-degree rule so important? Why do we do 83% of the length of the hammock is the length of the ridgeline? That is because at a at a 30 degree angle, the distance from one end to the hammock to the other end of the hammock, if you didn't have a ridge line, would be 83% of the length of the fabric. That's what gives you the proper sag. We put a ridge line on it so that you always get exactly that same amount of distance, which is 83%. That is going to give you an angle of 30% coming from the end of the hammock going up to the tree. As you see here, we have rigged up a, a scale and also a level sensor so that we can go and measure the different levels that the suspension is under and the amount of load that goes on it. I weigh about 200 pounds. And if you look here, we are putting about 200 pounds on each side with a 30 degree angle. Now, if I change that and I go at a shallower angle, it should increase the amount of weight that is being applied to each side of this. I shouldn't say weight, it, it increases the amount of force that is applied to each side. Now, this is gonna be true for the tree, which is super important. Um, this is also gonna be true for your continuous loop, your buckles, the Dutch clip. A, a big one is the the ridge line, because very often this can be the weakest link in here. They, these generally have, if they're made out of lashet, a 400 pound breaking strength. So you can see that if you were going extremely tight, that it would put an incredible amount of weight on here. That's why when, when they're really tight, you pluck this and it's like a guitar string. So. I'm going to take the suspension and I'm going to move it up. I'm only moving up two on this spider daisy chain webbing. Now you can't measure the angle right now because first of all, this big heavy block here is changing things and you have to measure it actually when the hammock is loaded. That's really kind of difficult to do especially if you're out in the woods. However, you always have your ridge line to test. Had I not had any of that on here and I sat in this hammock to check it out, I know that this is uh, way too tight of a suspension. This thing is really has a lot of pressure on it. I cannot bend this. As you can see here, that did not change the angle that much. We're riding at about a 26 degree angle, but yet that is now applying, well, it's about 50 pounds more pressure on either side. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make this even steeper and we're gonna see how high we can make this. As you can see here, that at a 20 degree angle, you are putting well over 300 pounds, and that is on either side of this hammock. So when you go to hang your hammock, 
one of the first things that's really important is the distance the trees are apart. Because I know for me, at six foot, I can only reach to about seven, maybe eight feet high, and I, my limit is going to be 15, maybe 16 feet apart. After that, I have a hard time reaching that strap to get high enough in order to achieve that 30 degree angle that I'm looking for. So I know at six foot, my maximum is I go for 15 feet. Then when you hang the hammock, it is very difficult to really tell. I, I know there's this, and this is a 30 degree angle, but that is an unloaded hammock. And, and that isn't really true. You'll see that my suspension changes greatly. Now, a lot of that's because I have the scale sitting on there, but it changes when I'm loaded and when I'm not loaded. But that just gets you close when you do this and you find the 30 degree angle. The real measuring tool is gonna be your ridge line. Your ridge line should not be guitar string tight like this is. Now, let's say it is. That means that you need to raise the straps up the tree and then loosen the suspension. If your ridge line sags, that means that your suspension is too loose. So you're gonna to wanna to pull the suspension a little bit tighter and you're going to have to lower the strap down the tree. So I hope that really shows the relationship of the hang angle versus the force that is applied to the suspension on both sides of the tree. Thank you, everybody.